So Rob didn't write a recap. It's true. I also didn't write anything <laughs> beforehand besides my two bullet points. All right, Becca, what were your five pages of notes? All right, you want to tell us? <laughs> Becca, what we happened last We walked into the session? woods and we started fighting trees. And it was spooky. I swear I wrote so something. So spooky. <laughs> there was, um... There was a... A Ruark <laughs> destroyed, like, a fragment of something, right? Like, we talked to the monk after the trial thing. <laughs> like... <laughs> don't oh, this is why do I not do not keep this as the do not keep this as the uh as this the as the refresher in. segment because I could not do that. Oh yeah, this is staying in. Winry uh Cassie's mic is picking up the room. Oh. Why is she not muted? Um do not keep that in, please. <laughs> oh yeah, no, this is the end of session. This is fun. So my two sentence or two bullet points are: the party talked about the meanings of the visions for a bit and decided that they were truth. They talked about the ramifications, including Katrina's spy history and Shalosha's relationship with her country. Then they split apart in the end and headed into the forest, where they were attacked by a group of trees. And Jack's oh, yeah. a wizard. Sure. And Jack's a wizard. And Jack's a wizard. Jack's a wizard. Jack's a wizard. There's also now. a spooky child who ran away into the forest and nobody wanted to follow. You gotta say spoopy. But I then said we spookums. But the, <laughs> you did <laughs> <laughs> it. Makes it better, so it's not so spooky. We did. <laughs> but we saw, but before this encounter, we, didn't, we saw we that just child. We distinctly did not follow them. I thought what we said was that it, there was no real other path, so we decided to just go well, on. There was no kid. real path in general. Uh, we didn't like follow. Trails and things like this that you're following. Yeah, we, and you're we voted even. Um, although the, the, before the encounter, before this encounter, wasn't there a, the same kid before the trees attacked us? Yeah, I think so. And then ended up being strapped to the tree. No, there was a kid Where, that was on the ground. There was no confirmation that it was the same kid. Okay. Put him on the ground. It wasn't the same <laughs> dead kid. It was a different, potentially a different dead kid. There were dead kids though. That is that is a kids. good point. Is that it could potentially be multiple dead children, and that could lead to a very big, big problem here. Which I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, I don't think there were dead kids. In fact, there was no sign of the children, the dead kids, uh, except for the small desiccated corpse of a small human, perhaps an elven child, that's chained to the rotting bark of one of the trees. Yeah, well, yeah. The clearing. that was what it was. It was or, yeah, two trees. childs. At least one of the trees. We're going to say three. We because thought all of them had it on the tokens. We, yeah. We did we come across. We did hear a sound and then go towards the sound for some reason and come across a tree that had chains on it that were kind of broken and it looked like it was split apart. There was also that to keep in mind. Let's just kill these trees. <laughs> <laughs> well, with all of that great recap. Uh, we are at the top of the round, and it is Matharia's turn. Oh, so it's my turn at the top of the round? <laughs> no. <laughs> the other top. <laughs> yeah, the other top. <laughs> the upside down top. We're now second in in the initiative order. Your tops don't spin upside down. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Well, um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I'm going to do what I plan to do last week, which I'm going to misty step my bonus action right here and um, take two fire walk. damage. Okay. <laughs> I just... <laughs> okay. <laughs> <No>. I forget. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'm going to walk the rest of the way up to this tree and attack. Okay, go for it. Make the attacks. Uh, fast swords. Oh, I wish I had advantage, but I don't. Ah! That is probably not going to hit with the 14. 14 does not hit. You are correct. Okay. Second attack. Alexa, play spooky ambient music. I don't want to hear spooky ambient music. 
Alexa pretty much said no. Never mind. So did your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Second attack is a 16. They're raising your hand. That's me, 16? your wife. A 16 wow. does actually hit. Okay, I have literally no remembrance of what the AC was on these guys. It was a, like a week and a half ago. Okay. Ooh, okay. Um, that is... Uh, okay, do math, please. That is eight fire damage and... Um, it's my... 13, yeah, 13 slashing. All right, now. It is <coughs> unhappy with the fire damage for sure. Is it on fire? It does not become on fire immediately now. Okay. Our swords are not fire now. Look for you. One for you. I mean, they are. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Need a little bit more. They smolder. All right. Third attack. Oh, that's a little bit better. Um, it's a 24 to hit. That's it? These boys hit real hard, too. It's silly. Oh, are you doing piercing or slashing damage out of curiosity? Slashing. Which is the one that, the one yeah. that hurt more? <laughs> they aren't one, rapiers. Huh? <laughs> they aren't rapiers. That's the thing. They're more like scimitars than rapiers. Rapiers. Yep. All right. <coughs> so oh, that's a here. nasty roll. You rolled two ones for fire. <laughs> oh, roll. Well, so man. that's two. <laughs> And a three for my slashing, so that's a whole nine slashing there. Okay. And that's my turn. I'm Still? definitely gonna survive. Oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> we'll see about Still. that. Yeah, very nice to Thanks for that. blitz out there and attack a new enemy. Yeah. Uh, well, at the end of your turn, it is their turn, and these trees now, <coughs> there's a lot of them that are all kind of surrounding Winry at this point in time. Oh no. Well, that's true. She's- And he's like, guess he's like, take me out, I'll go to bed. Right? <laughs> oh. Well, we're gonna start with those, the two on the left. Oh, They're all the ones on the left attacking twice. I don't want to infect you though. Uh, one of them is a 14, which is a miss. <sighs> Steph is a problem case helpful. already. <laughs> oh, I missed. Okay. And a 29 on the other one. What did you say? Sorry, someone 20. was stressing. 14 and a 29. 14 misses. I figured as much. Yeah. Uh, 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Actually. The second tree from the north will attack next. 17 and 20 to hit. 20 It deals 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Still doing good? Mm -hmm. Alright, the next one's gonna attack. <coughs> 22 and 14 to hit. And 16, 22 points of bludgeoning damage. Oof. So good? Wait, good. Look at my I'm just making sure you're still up before I rolled the next ones. Otherwise they were gonna attack somebody else. Yeah. Two more. 27, 14. Plus force. 27 it. 11, 13, 19 points of bludgeoning damage. Still up. Oh, Ooh. perfect. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my oh. gosh. Um, yeah, if so I had been hit by like one of one those, I probably would have been out. For one. all of them that are on fire. Or two. We're all good. There's your fee. Um, <gasps> what am I doing? Okay, this. So I'm gonna do this one. I knew I could leave them all to you, Wendy. <laughs> oh, to sleep. Uh, she napped both directions on our trip. Oh, jeez. Sorry, mm. see Kathy's coat too. <laughs> Three. Three? All right. So they do continue to burn. They take a little bit of additional damage while doing so. <clears throat> Let me pop in that fire damage a second on all the ones that are burning. Uh, that took care of all of the trees that are in the middle. Next we have the trees on the outside. On the outside? Uh, on the on outside. The outside. Mm -hmm. um, two of these trees are on fire. <clears throat> these trees, wildly unhappy. 
uh, will begin to actually scuttle their way away as they oh, do so. Okay, okay. Um, scuttle, and... oh, okay. Shamble. I feel like that's a good use of the word for a tree. Yeah, I agree. I think trees can uh -huh. scuttle pretty reasonably. Okay. I don't know how, without you. a mouse, I am going to send this to a different layer. But, uh, okay. Yep, so it's trees. <laughs> I can't right click. <laughs> You know, trees would be really top heavy. Probably the best way for them to move would be to fall on their sides and roll. That's amazing. <laughs> Not probably through a forest, though. I mean, <laughs> otherwise they're gonna fall down a lot. Uh, but the two trees on the northeast and the southwest both start to retreat. Uh, and they spend their action to try to put themselves out. Um, and in doing so, do succeed to put themselves out. That's just the standard thing you can do as an action. Uh, and I can't. There's no way this is such a pain. Having no mouse is brutal. Don't you have one that you can convert? Probably. <laughs> uh, and then they move back into the fire, or forest, that's the one I wanted, uh, and attempt to blend in effectively. <laughs> they succeed. <laughs> they might. We'll see. The last one that's next to Mitharia will make two slam attacks against her. Oh, 19 is the higher. I'll use my reaction uh, to put my AC up to, I think it's 22. Perfect. And with a blading, bladed defense, duelist's defense, uh, <coughs> something like that. Deflect the blow coming towards you, the second one nimbly dodging out of the way, uh, and the trees. Which spent their turn at that point. Rev. Uh, okay. I'm going to kind of emerge from the shadows and uh, flick my blade, the base of it, and it's going to kind of light and it'll feel, uh, I'll be like, oh, like, because it'll kind of alight with fire and it will be a little surprising. Um, and then I'll charge forward, attack this one here, who is closest to me and that'll be Bridge. one ten. yeah so 17 to hit now it was 16 earlier yes uh let's just go ahead and yep 17. 17 does hit okay good oh i guess i should okay that's 30 um let's see minus so 33 minus five i believe here right justin that's how we decided it would be oh i'm not looking at it um wow yes well did you light it with cold or fire oh, yeah. fire okay so it'd be 33 minus two then oh okay the fire is the second one huh? <laughs> okay then uh well it says right below them Oh, it does. Can you not see the text? <laughs> no, I don't. Oh. oh. Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah, I see it now. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah, so 31 points of damage. With five of them being fire damage, this tree blazes into an inferno oh. and collapses to nice. the ground. Cool. And with that, I'm going to so literally jump in. As it does so, I just wanted to mention that the remains of the trees that are still remaining on the ground are, are difficult terrain to move through. Yeah, of course. Um, then I'm going to pop over here and hide again. So emerge from the shadows, slice them with a lit sword. And as I go into the, the leaves here, I'm trying to think about the best way to hide a flaming sword. So I'm going to just try to maybe position it behind my back. Uh, hopefully it won't be too hot. Uh -uh. Uh, so like kind of like behind my back as I'm like up against a tree or something like this. Like a classic child putting something out of sight, out of mind. Uh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Sword it, it, I'll, and I'm trying, I'm gritting my teeth because I'm trying to like stand the heat. You know what I mean? Because it's like kind mm. of heating up my back. It feels a little warm. 
Birds. Go ahead and make a stealth check. Uh, stealth check, right? Yep. 19. Okay. Man, my rolls are so okay. bad right now. <laughs> hey, you hit. Don't give me that. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, with, I mean, I rolled a... Uh, what? I rolled a... It's a literal log of your rolls, right? <laughs> yeah, there it is. Sorry. <laughs> uh, six and a four, that's what I've rolled so far. Anyway, go ahead. That's good enough. Why can't I close this window? Oh, and then I rolled... 5d6. Temperature one. Oh, well, oh, oh. No, this one and this one ran away. Well, that's my target oh. anyway, so it's... Top, oh, top, top right, bottom left. Oh, uh, okay. Should be on the GM layer at this point in time, but I totally can't move things to the GM layer because I can't right click. <laughs> I will grab a mouse at some point. Uh, so, Jack, it's you up next. I was trying. <clears throat> okay. Regardless of whether I can see bottom left boy or not. Right up there, and as I'm running up, uh, I'm running with parallax and I'm kind of holding in in front of me while I'm running. So like swords in front of me while I'm running, and I'm like doing somatic components. And once I get there, I turn and I say, "Winry duck!" I'm gonna shoot another lightning duck. bolt. A I duck. Mean, <laughs> a duck. Straight this way to get those two. And if I happen to get the third guy, then uh, so, but corner. if not, I, that's okay. How long is it? It is 120 feet. Okay. There, I went and got a mouse. Happy everyone? <laughs> Jeez, I was just trying to do a complain about it. I was <laughs> suggesting to make your life easier. I don't. I was, that's mostly for myself. Uh, okay, uh, what's the save on that? Dexterity? Yes. Trees, naturally just, nimble, of course. You don't have to wait for me. Uh, not good. 14 is the best. That is a fail. Light him up. Oh, wow. That's a lot of sixes. You can reroll any up to your perfection <laughs> modifier. You do not have to. Dang. Good. Okay. That's a lot of damage. It sure is. That's 10. That's uh, 22, 28, 34, 37, 41 points of damage. Very nice. Thanks, for bro. every one of them there trees that it hits. And they also light on fire. Oh, well, German. those trees are already on fire. Well, they're Extra. more on fire now. It's super on fire. Uh, and in the distance, you see a random tree <laughs> that you didn't notice was anything special, uh, but uh, it cracks in half, just splits like as though hit by a lightning bolt, explodes <laughs> in splinters, uh, just a smoldering husk in the distance now. Off in the distance, you hear a tree go, oh no! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, was it was it splitting through a bunch of other regular trees too, though? So. It's like a line of dead trees. It's just a line of, yeah, exploding trees. And then one of them, yeah, one of them goes. <laughs> yeah, but mostly it's like it's like clipping off branches here and there and like zapping off little segments. And then at the end of it, like the very end, just one one solid big tree explodes That's as well. Nice. Um, yeah, those guys are still alive though. Huh? They are still alive. Thanks. Um, was that a portal reference, Cassie? Yeah. Wow. So. Nice. Ten out of ten, right there. Um, that that's it. That's that's all. That's all she wrote. For my so, turn. It's a good writing. <laughs> uh, but that is their turn. <laughs> You're up next. You can't even see a map, can you? Mm -hmm. Oh, you do have your phone? Oh, gosh. Uh -huh. Your phone's doing triple duty right Which, now. Which, yeah, the videos aren't showing. 
Um, which of these three trees looks the most? They all look very hurt. Mm -hmm. okay. the one below. They're all leaking mm -hmm. sap. Yeah. The whole sap. Mm -hmm. The one below the <coughs> Um, 24. Right. Does hit? What? No. I can just... 11 bludgeoning. Oof. Um, 11 cold. Kapow! Smashes into one more. Nice. Explodes. All your hits. You got it. Explodes. When he punches yeah. the tree, he just goes. Uh, 19. Does hit. 11 bludgeoning. Um, 12. Which one's next? Um, the one next to me. The G, like horizontally? Um, up or to the side? To yeah. the side. <laughs> Okay. Hang on, let me see how many kids are. We just rested, you should know. Oh, well, where are you going? Because I almost oh. did. Go down you. swinging. I got you. Um, 11 plus 9 is a lot. It is. It's enough. 7 plus 6. 13. And 16 plus 11. That's nice it is. Dang, girl. 7 plus 4. 11. 11. <coughs> you do recall, however, that all of these trees are relatively Bludgeon. resistant to said bludgeoning. Uh, so. Well, you picked one that was almost dead. The one that was almost dead did explode, mostly because of the fire damage. Uh, and it was on fire, and it just poofed. I found, like, a smoldering spot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, the other two, or the other one, I guess, that you were punching there, it is hurting. Who was it? Okay. Exactly. It is hurting, but it is still up and about. So, Grin, will be you up next. All right, then I will. I will do my Twilight Sanctuary. Not no, I'm gonna do that. Okay. I'm just these trees aren't on that they're trees. So um and you made some assumptions there, but I'm going to do Yes. <coughs> healing word at I think fourth level. That's worth no. Oh, mess! I could do that third level. I'm gonna do it fourth level. That sounds. That feels good. Okay. One, two. All those two D four. It was four D four at fourth level. Is it? Two D four. Four. Two Ds. <laughs> Plus four probably. Plus five. Plus five for you. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Twelve. So everybody gets twelve. Oh, I was going to move to so that everybody got 12. Let's move over here. Oh. So I was within reach of Matharia, too. Uh -oh. I, no, I don't want to be next to the tree. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <laughs> um, okay. Cool. <coughs> we get 12, too. All right. So 12 hit points spread about. Mm -hmm. And the aura of twilight pops up, though it's difficult to see really any significant difference from the current look of the forest. Oh, I do actually need something from you. No. I do. Um. You could. Do, do, do. Make. A spellcasting ability check for me. Mm. That's just adding my spellcasting modifier. Yep. Let's do it. Thirteen. Perfect. That is exactly what you needed to be able to cast the spell effectively. What? As it is very difficult for you right now to tap into that healing magic that you oh. normally have. This forest area seems to be dampening your, or inhibiting oh, your yeah. ability I to cast that, that type of magic. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to be that person, but 
Which, do I have to do it twice because I did Mass Healing Word too? That was for the Mass Healing Word. Okay, not for my Sanctuary? Correct. That is not technically a school of magic. Okay. Nor is it technically healing. So it okay. does not fall into either of the categories that this would affect. Technically. Technically. It's also one and the same, like part of the shadows, I guess. So I'm gonna... Okay. It feels thematic anyway, but it would be... It would just work. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. So everyone a little bit more healthy. Did Becca ever come back? No, she's gone. She's gone. Where you at, boo? She didn't even message. She's gone, gone. Where you at, boo? Yeah, as soon as I can, internet will not cooperate. Oh, yeah, there it is. Just popped up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Take a <coughs> moment from Well, why don't you... Right. Why don't you roll some fire damage a second? Okay. These trees are going to take fire damage at the start of their turn. This will be after the fire is turn, but still. Three. Again. Consistent. A very average number. Let's do that now, so at least I have one more thing ticked off. Around. For when it is. Yeah, see, I'm sorry you feel so bad. Do you feel bad or is it just a cough? Dope. The good stuff? I mean, hold on. We'll grab some whiskey. I can count more than you yeah. can. Yeah. So you're getting picked up by this mic already. You don't need to have your mm. on also. <coughs> so I stop moving my cough? Can you hear me anyway? Yes. Yes. I feel like my grades have gotten more. Look at these, man. <laughs> Cassie, on Facebook, I just saw a salt and pepper hair dye. No, it's not like a box dye, but like I went to a salon and I did a salt and pepper hair. Oops. It's so, it's so long. I wonder how it would look like when it grew out. A little weird. I thought she was a better internet. She's in town. Just as bad as the computer. <laughs> Those are some intense barcodes. They really are. <laughs> right, Aldi? Ryan, I like your sweater. Those are Aldi barcodes. Thank you. You can scan it like in any way. <laughs> the salty crate. I like it too. <laughs> That's very cute, Ryan. <laughs> That's the only thing with this apple cider drink is like it's so sugary, but the only things that taste good with it, I feel like like a donut so or something, tough. or like something more sugary, and I don't yeah. want that. Pizza, it's salty. There. <laughs> pasta. Might just drink some water and do the rest of the pizza. I ate a lot of that pizza. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't give an extra dollar too. <laughs> Why are you talking about eating? I ate a lot. It's pizza. What's there for? Oh. Ryan, how has work been? Did you make friends with that guy yet? No, I haven't made friends with the guy yet. I'll have to. <laughs> uh, it, Rebecca and. His wife, who Rebecca works with, they have been talking about doing dinner or something like that. But I'm like, no, 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 it's too, too much. Like, I gotta, I gotta figure out a way to like, do... what? We watched. So the night you said that, we were watching Bob's Burgers, and it was an episode where Bob had like met a guy that he really, really liked because he was an archaeologist. So he thought he was like Indiana Jones, and they had him over for a dinner party. And the whole thing is Linda's just like, you need to rein it in. Like, settle down. Because <laughs> like... Bob was so excited that he was going to be a, a man friend. Yeah, yeah. So we got not... Lars here, Ryan? I'm oh, sorry. Lars? The guy from the other. From the... Tabletop Gold? Oh, no, I haven't met him yet. I haven't I haven't even reached out to him. <laughs> no, I should. <laughs> I got all these I got all these D and D podcasters living around me, you know? I gotta start connecting. Guys, I'm kind of back. Welcome. Whenever I'm you're ready. Phone, I'm on my phone because the internet's still not working here, so 
I even tried hooking it up to my phone's uh, hotspot. That sometimes works, but it's just not co- my laptop's just not cooperating. So. Maybe it needs replaced like those computer guys said. Let's <laughs> <laughs> <a> quit laugh. <laughs> Ooh, oh, should you take that with alcohol, Cassie? I don't know, it's expired too. <laughs> it sounds like I'm a really good life choice. You're fine. <laughs> and of all the people to, you know... <laughs> we'll just... <laughs> There's two <laughs> large men who can carry to bed, it's alright. <laughs> the famous thing said before drug overdoses. How bad could this be? <laughs> also, it would definitely take both Justin and I to carry her upstairs. Sarcasm. She's so chunky. Gotta ease up on those pretzels, let me tell you what. <laughs> Going straight to your hips, yeah, that's really bad. <laughs> what do we move? Hey, Jess but... and I almost moved a, a 400 pound bale of hay. Right? It twitched. Did you get it to move? We twi- We twitched it. Like, the two of you together? Yeah. Oh. We just, we just, we just both jumped on it. We just <laughs> dead weighted it. Kaylee and I tried. We could not. It, no, I, I can I can play, guys. I'm just letting you know that I'm I'm oh. still in the process. Well, right. it's, it's, it's your is, turn. It is your turn. I I figured this. I was kind of trying to wait until there was like a break, and the, you guys were just going. <laughs> we were. We were um, well, I don't have roll twenty yet, but I I'm assuming I'm in the same place that I was before. No, there's still a tree next to you. Okay, I'll the tree. I want this one. I want to share. Um, it's a 22 to hit. Oh, does hit? Alright. <clears throat> Sorry, I went to go get fudge in between, also. Right, a little... More bad damage over here. Um, good gosh. Free fire and, um, gosh, I only rolled a one on slashing, so that's seven slashing. Okay, got um, it. Back and attack. <coughs> Has a 19 to hit. Does hit also. A little bit better. Eight fire damage and. Oh. Oh gosh, why is my brain not being able to add? Simple addition. Uh, another nine slashing. Very nice. That's a much better hit. Uh, These trees do not like fire. Yeah. Oh! I haven't used my bonus action yet. That was only my second attack, right? Yep. Alright. That's what I was gonna do. I I totally messed up my first turn, but oh well. But now you caught it. Good, good. Ah. Alright. Third attack. Gonna do, do a cool thing and... I forgot to do the cool thing. <clears throat> 28 to hit. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, over there is kind of another, that's another uh, 8 slashing, uh, sorry, 9 slashing and 8 fire. Very nice. The tree is <clears throat> making eerie noises of disgruntledness. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, then I guess I'll pack it again for my bonus action. Um, oh, that good gosh! It just had to lid, land dead straight on a two. Well, that's not gonna hit. <sighs> so you weren't here, but I also put up my Twilight Sanctuary. Just she, so. I, yeah, she is not. So. I, I know, but that's why I'm saying it. I figured that you, I could tell you were preparing to, so. Alright, so three hits and a miss from Natharia. Yep. What's that? <laughs> Anything else on your turn? Um, I don't think so. I'm just gonna stay by this guy. <coughs> okay. Well, after your turn, <clears throat> you hear a noise from this tree before you. And it's almost like it's speaking directly to you, Mithari, though everyone else can hear it as well. It says, Murderer! Murderer! 
and then it begins to move off into the other trees. You can make an attack if you would like to. What other trees? Like, Just away the from the general forest? real forest, yes. <laughs> Running away. Can't move them. Um... <laughs> I think I would kind of be a little more sh- like shocked by it talking. Um, okay. I won't. I, I won't attack. I won't attack it as it leaves. It's like hearing the wind through the leaves almost, but there's words that seem to be coming through as well at the same time. Yeah. That one ambles off in the general direction of. Wow. A sequence or a she cluster started. of other like trees <laughs> and appears to disappear from view. Appears to disappear. Appears to disappear. The only two that remain have already taken their burning damage for their turn, uh, but they do still surround Winry to some extent and will continue to try to oh. finish things here. We're not gonna help with it. <laughs> That's a natural 19 and a natural 20 on those uh-huh. two rolls. Nope. Okay, nope. yeah. That was we'll start with a crit. <coughs> so that is 13, 26, 32 points of blood. You're dead. Yeah. <laughs> the additional hit then deals two death saving throw failures immediately. Oh. Uh, ow. Oh, that's rough. Okay. It is on the other tree's turn, and this one is going to make the very slight move towards Miss Bryn here, yep. and we'll smack you twice. Uh, both on the same, both 19s to hit. Just... Yeah, it's... Well, that's uh, the worst damage possible almost. Uh, 10 points of bludgeoning on the first one. Damage. And the second one deals 12, 18 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay, okay, okay. Their turns finished at that point. Rev, it is <laughs> you, as Winry has collapsed in a shriek to the ground. There she goes again. Mm-hmm. She got her turn out. Uh, flying in. <laughs> flying uh, in. 17 to hit. Does hit. That's a 20... Thirty-one minus six, twenty-five. Twenty-five. Twenty-five damage, man. Why is my damage feel low right now? Seven. That's fire. Man, that sneak attack, man. I rolled four, fire. four ones. Yes. <sighs> Terrible. Um, well, the good news is, with the five of it being fire, that is enough to put down another tree. All right, and then seeing that most of the trees tree <laughs> to remain. Yeah, so let me just 25 feet. It's a uh, half to go through, so I can get through. Mm-hmm. I'll kind of like uh, sort of bounce from branch to branch, trying to like get through. It takes me a little bit longer to get through, but um, and then like kind of use one of the branches to kind of swing myself like uh, over, like do like a hobby horse type thing. So you can see me kind of scrambling through this tree uh, that's on fire still, I guess. And boy. I'll take one more attack on this guy. <laughs> Jumping up into the air off of some exposed roots. Roots mm-hmm. flying through the sky and... You had that coming. Just some spousal abuse happening over here. All right. I can't... I just oh, rolled no. a one. No, yeah, but I can't roll a one because I'm a... I'm a Halfling, so I need to roll again. You can if you roll it twice. I didn't though. That's the thing. I I, I was watching very carefully, and it did not roll again. Let's see here. There's a lot of you... weird stuff. <laughs> Rolling twelve plus one d zero cs greater than one cf greater than zero. Huh? Critical success if greater than one. Critical failure greater than zero. So there is a chance, in theory, for you, Ryan, to roll one and then a one. Yeah, but it didn't roll again. You still critically fail. (laughs) Yeah, but that's the thing. It didn't roll anything. Like, you would be, you would see another roll here, right? Like, 
Rolling, I don't know why it says, I say 12 Probably plus. Probably yes. Just roll again. Oh, I did roll again. No. Oh. I got 28. What I do notice is that in your 28 roll, it just says 17 plus 11. In the yes. natural one roll, the 12, it has a whole lot more stuff in that text line. Which is- That makes me wonder if it did do some other stuff. <laughs> Yeah, but why does it say rolling 12? Like, rolling 12. Oh, okay, that's... 12 is the... 12 is 1 plus 11. Yeah, but there's no other roll there. Like, you don't see any other rolls in there. Like, you, it would say 1, and then it would also have another roll somewhere in that um, formula, wouldn't it? Because you don't see I any don't other... What I'm saying is, I don't know. <laughs> And that's fine. 28 is a hit. At this point, it doesn't really matter. Let's be honest with ourselves. All right, yeah, fair enough. Oh, well. I was going to check what it looks like in D&D Beyond while you're rolling damage. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, it's not 30, it's 12 damage. One fire damage. Okay. Oops. That is enough. In fact... Nice. To drop the final one of these trees. I, I looked in day. I looked in D. I looked in D and D Beyond, and yeah, it only has the one roll in there. Like it don't, there are no other numbers. Like wouldn't it say one and then another one somewhere? Probably. Think, yeah. I think you're the only one who cares at this point. <laughs> yep. I don't know. We're gonna have to figure it out someday, though. If Ryan literally is incapable of rolling one and then one, it is kind of meaningful. <laughs> the um, the embarrassing thing is the computer one time did do it for me. And that was that one time where I like, it, what, we can talk about this offline. Never mind. Let's, let's move yeah. on. So I, I stab it and the tree falls down. Timber. <laughs> the last tree to timber. drop. Timber. <laughs> you know, timber. Um, can you at least say it in the right voice? Timber. All right. <laughs> uh, and as the last tree drops down, um, you note that these trees that are all around Windry look very reminiscent of normal trees, whereas the other ones, when you looked at them kind of from close, <laughs> like Mitharia did, it almost felt like they had faces here and there. There was the child strapped to them, of course, chained to them, which of course was meaningful and all. Um, but <laughs> bury that lead a little bit. A little bit. Um, <laughs> but they, when you look at them, they kind of like in shadows, things like this. You could almost swear that you could make out faces here or there. The ones that are laying on the ground now around you guys look eerily Please. normal. We were attacked by weeds. Promise. But the forest is quiet. It is still around you with the battle ending. And the two trees that ran off, it seems. No one can make uh, make out which trees they are anymore at this point in time. They seem to have blended in and are gone. I'm going to sprint over to Winry and like, <coughs> find any bleeding that's going on and staunch it. Just be like, Bran, help! Maybe Rob will save me. Make a medicine check then. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Well, wait, but if I fail, she can die. Yep. <gasps> so, no, because I was run gonna say I'm running over at Your the same- Your turn is after Winry. Oh, we are still in initiative. Until she's up. Oh, oh I, I only I, have- No, no, oh, I, I wouldn't geez. risk that. Guys. Uh, I will uh, give her a potion. Okay. Run over, force feed a potion into Winry. Oh, no. Stabilizing her at the brink of death. That's oh, no nice. My last regular potion. Oh, I just deleted it. What is it? 2d4 plus 4? 2d4 plus 2. Plus 2. Yes. I rolled two nice. fours. That's nice. So that's 10 back to you. Uh, so I run over and I like pick your head up. Like I slide down my knees, pick your head up. I stab parallax into the ground. Slide down next to you, pick your head up, and just uncork it. And Actually, actually so you. you you probably have to crawl through a, a bunch of like tree branches and like oh that's true and oh, she yeah, you have to... difficult terrain man Justin D yeah <laughs> I mean it's fine 
it might be fine. You can throw uh, it at me? No, it's fine. So, yeah, you're right. It is difficult terrain. So, I would have gotten about there. So, I want my potion back. Take your 10 hit points back out. You're still at two death saves. This sucks. And I just, I'll, I'll just, uh, uh, I'll yell out instead and just be like, Where are they? Ah! Technically, technically, I still have a bonus action. That is true, actually. So, and I can definitely use an object with my fast hands. Yeah, fast hands is a good point. Definitely, it'll be fine. That is one of the things that I've said for fast hands is applicable. uh, Is feeding someone else a potion would also be a minor or a bonus action instead of a uh, minor action. Yeah, forty. Uh, a bonus action instead of an action that it is for everybody else. Uh, so I'm diving at this tree uh, and I, I launch myself at the, the tree. I, I hit it with my sword. It falls over. Um, and as it does fall over, I'm also kind of losing balance. And I fall down onto my back and I'm right next to Winry. I look over like, hey, you all right? <laughs> oh, oh, oh shit oh. and i'll like quickly like pop up <laughs> like out of my i have that uh wristband poison thing with my That's all funny. my stuff um but i also yeah. have the um i think i also have my potions there too like my healing potions so i'll pop one out and just kind of like she's like tall she's up here so like, <laughs> just splash on our face yeah get it into her mouth <laughs> Some gets on my in back there, there. Excellent. And now we are outside of initiative. And I so will I run all, over. I do all that, but then I don't give her a potion because she's clearly fine. You can just take oh the 10 gosh. points that Rob rolled you. I don't <laughs> care enough to make him re roll it. Ah. You're really the trying potion. to. Or, what were you going to give? What were you going to give her? A potion of healing? Greater healing or just a potion? I just, gave her just a potion. <laughs> just a potion. <laughs> he has a light well, I, I run over. I only have a potion of greater healing, as far as I can tell. So <sighs> I've got a couple, but well, you don't get the choice. It's his inventory. Yeah. I run over yeah. and I'll heal you with the healer. You can heal fine, but I'm you need to heal. make a spell check, uh, spell casting ability check first. But it's with a healer's kit, so it's like Come, it's run, not you're magic. You're good. Um, can we see any of the um, more? The trees that left, can we see them at all anymore? Of the ones that, the two that left? Three, technically. Well, okay, yes. Yeah. Three, so technically. One of which, I will give you the, the information, did explode in the lightning. <laughs> okay, okay. Out. Like, I was, uh, yeah, yeah I, I, I caught that, but... <laughs> The other two, if you wanted to try to track the one that whispered to you and then ran away, you could make a either a perception or a survival check if you wanted to try to find it. You say whispered, but you, you also said that everybody could hear it, right? Yeah, it was loud enough. So the forest is, despite the music, uh, unnaturally quiet. It's like still. Uh, and so even a whisper like that carries. There's no wildlife. There's seemingly no <laughs> or almost no wind coming through. There's like there's no noise inside the forest. Some say it's so quiet <clears throat> you could hear a tree whisper. If one fell in the middle, everyone would know about it. Okay. Um <laughs> uh, right, so if I <laughs> If I tried to track the tree, I could, but I don't just see it moving off in the distance, still just still lumbering away. <laughs> it moved away enough that it, so mechanically, it moved away far enough that uh, it then tried to blend in with the rest of its tree friends. It hit. Got it. Got it. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um. I'm just going to be holding Winry and make sure she's okay. Jack, I think he saved my life. Uh, I'll look at Rev and then I'll look to somewhere else. Like, who are you talking to? <laughs> I know. Tree? <laughs> the tree? Yeah, the tree saved you? Also, there's boy trees? <laughs> there's so much right now. Uh, 
Don't don't mind me. I'm just gonna pass out here. <laughs> Thank. No, I'm passed out. I sl- I'm falling asleep. <laughs> just drops onto the ground next to these. No, I'm, I'm on the ground. I was on the ground already. I'm like, I've got five hit points left. I'm not feeling too well. Oh, I, don't feel well. I don't feel too good, Mr. Stark. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm on the There's... ground. Green, I think we should maybe, what time is it? Time is it? It's only been like an hour. Yeah, like we woke up and like walked straight in the forest. Yep. Florist? The florist. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, we didn't even uh, have a like long rest. I'll be, rest. I'll be okay. Just let me hang out here for a moment. I'll do a healer's kit for Rev too, while he's laying there with his eyes closed. What? Uh, ah. Oh, I threw a <laughs> It's not healing. Oh, what? <laughs> what was that reaction? I was Rev reacting to her. Oh, wait, do you need it? Should we just do, take a short seven. rest? Yes, but this is extra since he's so low. Seven plus animals. 13 is 20. Point of the short rest. <laughs> 20? Uh, yeah, it's like, uh, you know, I was laying there with my eyes closed and then all of a sudden... Uh, it was like surprising that she was there. And then he rela- and then he relaxes like, a little bit. Wounds, like yeah, like stitching you up and this sort of thing. This is like physical healing. Doesn't uh, ask permission anymore. Hello. <laughs> physical healing. Uh thanks. <laughs> his uh Yeah, his 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 like he's got his uh cheek is like bleeding where like a bone got maybe broken in his cheek and like there's you know his uh, eyebrow was slashed open, and uh, we're just gonna walk off a broken orbital here, apparently. <laughs> Why not? <It's> D&D. <laughs> it, is, it is D&D, but like, you know, that's how like, MMA fighters they get they they do it. You're kind of don't worry. So that's short rest. Yeah, but they yeah. get broken orbital, and then, they take, <laughs> and then they take like a month off. Yeah, you're right. That's really true. Well, oh, they, sure. don't, they, they don't, don't have, have magic. And yeah, I was going to say, they don't have magic. They also don't have Bryn. So. Yeah. That's true. It's true. If they did, they'd be in a fight the next hour. <coughs> well, do we still need to take a short rest? Is everyone, I mean, Winry is still. I would like to, please. Back. Thank you. Yeah, I think I think we need a short rest. Yeah, those yeah, trees definitely need a short rest for sure. <coughs> Not me. I'm fine, but. You did a lot of damage, though. I did a lot of damage. It was you did a lot of uh, damage. Damage to damage ratio. Yours was pretty amazing. You know what? Uh, While I'm holding Winry and she points out, she says, "Like uh, he saved me." And I look around. I look at Rev first, but then I kind of look around and see, like the smoldering trees around, and realize that they're smoldering because Grant and I lit them up with fire and just kind of, for a moment, <laughs> just kind of realize potential and maybe I, I don't know, maybe I I smirk a little bit that no one can see, give a little, little half smile. Boy. I did, let's see, I did like almost 200 damage. I'm not discounting it. With two spells, man, that's, that's dope. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Short rest. Short rest. Short rest. He's back. <laughs> Rides across the nation, the thoroughbred of sin. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> While you guys are sitting there taking your short rest, um, around you, a bunch of leaves just. Um, that were left over from one of these trees that you guys just fought. A bunch of the leaves start shifting suddenly. Uh, Previously were kind of wilting, dying, turning brown. They suddenly become green and leafy and become almost feather-like as though they're on something's wing. And then they flutter away, flying off into the treetops away from you. Okay, try and grab one. Try to, sure. Make a dexterity check. Thanks, Justin. And I was doing math. 
What happened? <laughs> A group of leaves from the trees that are adjacent to you that was like starting to brown and wilt and be burned, basically. The dead, the trees that we just yep. killed. Okay. Uh, a, a little bundle of leaves basically suddenly becomes vibrantly green, like and like feather-like, almost as though it became something wing, and then begins to fly up into the air and into the treetops away. I guided myself. Oh, yeah, I sure shit did. 21. <laughs> you snatch out the leaves, and as you do so, they slip right through your fingers. Oh, come on. That was like my best dex roll ever. They slip like, through her fingers or just kind of dissipate through the fingers? As though you couldn't grab them. Okay. They just like slide right by. It's hard to know for sure if you actually would have touched them or not. Do they look like butterflies or do they look like... Uh, like the wing else. of a bird, almost. <laughs> like two wings. Like yep. Like, but there's but there's no bird on them. <laughs> like there's no bird body. There's no like bird in the middle. It's like two wings. Yeah, together. Flying and then disappearing into the treetops. Does anyone mm. know anything about what souls look like? Oi, boy, boy. Uh, can I? check that like and it's something i might know from going into soul tapping or just <laughs> make a religion check for me how far away are they oh at this point long <laughs> like 120 feet probably further 11 i'm gonna say further now um your training in religion does not really cover this sort of thing your training was much more um happenstance and go with what the person believes well no it's more like not formalized you didn't have a lot of book training or anything like this and it really was not something that you cared much about growing up um in terms of what a soul looks like uh so you don't know (laughs) um while we're resting i'll just kind of i won't say like explore but i'll take a look around the clearing and the (coughs) around the clearing to see if there's anything interesting or unique or anything like ritualistic or well, weird. Just outside of the clearing, as you're kind of doing a roundabout, um, you do come across chained to what appears to be a splintered, broken remnant of a tree. There is still the body of an elven child chained to the base of it. As you came across the one that Jack blasted with lightning that was unknown to you to actually be the tree that ran away. Does it seem cool. like it's... I'm going to cool. guess cool. it's... Cool. Can I choose it over between here and SD Elf and uh, Shaw Lessie Elf? I mean, I, mean, I would assume probably, it was yeah. a Tyr- Tyrannesti, but... Could. Um, it's hard to tell at this point in time, as it this child looks like it has been chained to this tree for an extended period of time, but it has not actually rotted away. Uh, your best guess, despite the hair being half gone off of its head, is it looks probably like a Terranesti elf. Do I? Like, I heard some things about what happened during the quote unquote war. Do I yep. remember hearing anything as like nasty as this? So I'm gonna say that you left the war before, or you weren't part of like the cleanup of the war, so to speak, um, and so you didn't run across the the ending of what what occurred there. Uh, for what your part of it was was mainly um, fighting against. Um, for a term like guerrilla warfare basically yeah yeah where the Terranesti were the guerrilla warfare peoples and you guys were marching your way through uh, so a lot yeah. of the fighting that you dealt with was dealing with ambushes and this sort of thing uh, yeah. you were not part of the quote unquote cleanup at the end of the, the war okay that paints Matharia as like a Vietnam vet and now mm-hmm. I'm so much more into her character <laughs> They're coming from the trees, man! Got no legs to do. (laughs) 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 Okay.
Okay. Um, I'll I'll point out the tree to the others, but I'm gonna I'm gonna walk away from it. I, I'm, she's disgusted by this, and the words of the other tree are still echoing through her head. Yeah, you hear in the background. I couldn't hear you, but I knew what you said. <laughs> Came in so soft. Oh, <laughs> sorry, murderer. Ash. Yeah. <laughs> is there like a lock or something for that's keeping the child chained to the tree? Or oh yeah, can I like, like slice the slice the chains like, or something for a lock wrapped away? around the child? Okay, like over and over, as so, though oh. there's not like a lock per se. Let me remove <laughs> the but yes, you, you could if you spent some time and effort. Uh, remove the child from the tree, removing chains from it. <clears throat> oh, do that. The body falls limp to the ground. It is definitely a dead body. I'll sort of lightly charred now. Oh, I'm gonna say no. Actually, probably it's not. Okay. We'll say that. I'll pick it up and find a nice spot under a not either a not alive tree or, like Rob said, under these rocks, like this rock ledge or something. Yeah, buried under Just, some rocks or something. You know, spend some time to bury the body. Huh. I, I'm burying it sounds like it take a lot of effort, but I was gonna lay it. We can mount Next stuff up thing. around it instead of digging yeah. in the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Generally, make, easier. Like a, make it rest. That a cairn? It's like a cairn. Yeah, yeah like, where you like, tap or you're into bury it effectively <laughs> by putting rocks all around and on top of the body. So it's the lazy to, man's yeah, way to bury things. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I'll do. Oh, we can we can blast stuff with like lightning and stuff, but we don't have a spell that can just dig us a hole. Don't place. have a freaking shovel. Oh, there is I do, spell, I do but... have a spell, but I never prepare it because we haven't needed it. I can spend a few minutes and make some uh, make some gills, and they'll help pick up rocks to make the pile. But after after Winry's back on her feet, uh, I'll. How does Matharia seem? Um, she's, uh, she's got a bit of a scowl on her face, and she's... So what, what's changed? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Um, Whoa. <laughs> scowl on her face. Kidding. Uh, she looks a little <laughs> ruffled, but, um, just kind of a bit in her thoughts. I mean, that's, that's normal, her being lost in her thoughts, but, I mean... So, uh, I imagine while you're still over there, maybe like observing the child or maybe collecting rocks, I'll just walk up to you and say, um, we heard what that tree said to you and I'll indicate the, the child or the chains or whatever's nearby and I'll say, um, you, you didn't do this. No, no, I know I didn't. We can maybe understand why the spirits would feel some kind of way, but you didn't, you didn't do this. So don't, don't bear that burden. I, I don't, I'm just, I'm just disgusted that they would, I, I know they went to lengths unthinkable after the end of everything, but I didn't think that they would go this is disgusting. Who would chain a child to a tree? Or to die? Well, it seems we have our answer. Makes me sick of my own people. Thought I was before. Me too. certainly have a word or two to say to Shalada when we get back. Don't restrain me. Me too. I'll, uh, certainly what we liked after this. <laughs> I'll just kind of pat you on the back and give you a smile and then uh, keep going about collecting rocks to help make the cairn. We 
With the Karen. Karen. <laughs> with the Karen complete, uh, you all feel a sense of peace, of, of finality to what you've done here. And I think it is probably about time to continue inwards towards where you're headed to. I dropped my phone. As we start oh. back out, I'll cast Vigilant Blessing on Matharia. Okay. And also before we go, I'm going to uh, find one of the tree limbs and like store it for later. I mean, for a piece, piece of wood. Look, just a, ch- a sizable piece that I can do some wood limb later. Um, yeah. Before we leave, I'll just like say some sort of like, I'm sure I know some sort of Shahalesi blessing or something to say something just I don't want to say quippy, but <laughs> that kind of takes away from the blessing part. Like something that's a blessing be quippy. The old return um, to the earth mother kind of. Yeah, if I don't know anything that's, you know, te- from from t- the Terra Nesty Nation. Only that they would say, then I'll say something. You, from could, you could make a history check if you'd like. <coughs> oh, yes, the check I have a plus zero on. This, these always go well. Could roll yeah. well. It's not my fault. Thirteen. Fine. Okay. Uh, you probably haven't heard of anything specific, um, but I would say that you do know that they they do bury their dead amongst the. <laughs> the earth, so feel like the trees and the earth. That is what they would normally do. Okay. So this isn't too far removed from what they might have done with the body. All right. Well, I'll just say something nice and that, you know, Shahles, you will say, or something like, may your body, body return to the earth and may it <coughs> seed new growth and may you find peace. Something simple like that. Right. Just in Elvish. Well, heading inwards as you guys group back up and continue on your way. Um, you travel for about the next 20 to 30 minutes going along these paths, working just deeper into the forest as much as you can. Uh, and about 20 to 30 minutes later, you come across um, your next major sign of action out here. A dozen corpses actually lay strewn across the path before you guys, scattered haphazardly across the forest floor. Though some of them seem to already be partially consumed by various forest creatures, uh, you can all tell immediately that these were elves and that they had died violently. Most bear some deep cuts, while a few others were slain by what looks like a cluster of arrows, making them resemble obscene porcupines, and two of them seem to have been mauled by a carnivore while they yet lived. So you said they were, what, they're ashes? They're... Elves. I don't know where you heard Cor- ashes. Corpses. I don't know, man. Those are the corpses. <laughs> So they're, like, how old or how fresh are they? Because, like, they're new enough that we can tell what they are, yet old mm-hmm. enough that, like, this would have from been the from the war? Make I'm a confused. medicine check. Uh, yeah, you can do those now, can't you? Can I get on that too? I could do sure. those anytime. I don't have proficiency in them like you do, but I could do them at any time. Nice. nice. Oh, is this nasty. I still can't <laughs> so, Um, Oh no, I have a plus two on it because it's wisdom based. That's right. <laughs> I, I still only rolled a seven. 17 yeah, for me. Okay. So Mitharia and Jack head over, take a look at these bodies a little bit more in depth. Uh, Mitharia, hard to glean much about them beyond that they seem relatively fresh. Um, Jack, you'd probably say that they they probably died within the last handful of days, if, just given the body's state. Share that with everybody. These died recently, within the last week, I'd say. <laughs> the other thing that you can notice is that these are not just elves, so to speak. These are actually a Chahalesi <laughs> scouting party. 
Oh, oh mm. dear. You were just racist. We just assumed they were Terra Nasty. Mm. Oh. I mean, do they look like combatants? Like soldiers? Uh, yes, like scouts more, but they're lightly armed. So, some had arrows, some look like they're. Some looked like they were partially consumed mold. by various forest creatures. Um, some oh, like... were pin cushioned by clusters of arrows, and two seem to have been mauled by some carnivore while they yet lived. And how recent did we? Science. How recent? How recent did this? Yep. Okay. I said yeah. within a week. Yeah, a couple of days. I'll, days. I'll, um, yeah, I'll keep an eye out on the forest though. Just, I guess, whatever it is that did this doesn't come back or isn't in the area still. So. Um, I'm going to pull out an arrow and kind of look at it to see uh, if I can tell who maybe made these. Like if there's a certain Colors. technique totally. or or if, you know, how yep. they were made. Make an or... investigation check on them, actually. Oh, all these, like, all checks all the I'm not good check at. These days. It says I'm made fine with scene. that, but, like, I'm not <laughs> good at these. I'm good at talking to people. Um... Investigation? No, that's just a straight 11. Okay. Uh, what you can pick up from the arrow that you're looking at is that they are crude and handmade. Mm. Okay. So... Not that they're poorly made, just that they right. are, like, rustic. Right, yeah. If anyone else would like to investigate the bodies, they can. I will. Look at their pockets. I also. I, I, no I want to know, there. like. I'm surprised it took you that long. Does it, <laughs> does it seem like <coughs> some were killed by wild animals or it was all. No, I know the answer. Um, it seems like they're all the same. <coughs> That's what you're asking. Uh, Winry goes over. Uh, the first thing that you note <coughs> is that. Almost like all of these bodies look like they were stripped of valuables. They look like they were picked clean intentionally of anything that was usable. The only thing that you note that is surprising is that there is a, a particularly high quality set of boots that on one of the corpses. I wasn't really looking for, I was looking for like information about them. Not. I know. You get what you get, and you just <laughs> You found That's some fair. damn boots. Be having you at. <laughs> These boots uh, have uh, like runic markings on the side of them. I don't wear shoes. <laughs> Those Toss boots were made for walking. <laughs> please, <laughs> please. Uh, please. Uh, back at Put them on. Put them well, on. Justin, quick question. Are these boots made for walking? <laughs> they're, they are boots that are made for walking in certain environments. So I gotta see the cat in boots, please. So what? Oh, right, so here, boots. Listen, boots. Listen, listen <laughs> He's a boy. <laughs> this I has been a problem with boots, Rev as well. Boots. It's been a problem with Rev too. You guys can wear magical boots and they don't have to cover your tootsies. Oh, okay. Can it be like an ankle version? Yes, I don't care. If you, like, with magical armor, it sizes to fit you anyway. Magical boots. You're like, can do the same thing. You're like Toph, where she kicks out the bottoms of her shoes yes. so she can still feel the ground. Exactly. <laughs> so just because She's like, they I like are that. boots <laughs> does not mean you just can't wear them. I don't throw them away anyway item. because I need to figure out what I they know. do first. I know. I'm just. Rev had the same problem with something with uh -huh. boots of haste at one point with his, and he went with a tattoo instead because he didn't <laughs> want to wear boots. <laughs> Just wanted to go over that. <laughs> uh, boots of speed. Yeah. Boots of speed. Okay. Sorry. No, I just. Um... <laughs> I, I do oh, have. Boots. I do have boots of speed though. I wish we could have seen not that boots. scene where Rev gets these boots. He's like, these make me go faster. I don't wear them. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, if you show them to me, Winry, while you guys continue to look over the bodies, I can cast Identify on them and figure out what they are. So, I... Wait, does Winry do that or no? <laughs> Jack, what do these do? I can figure that out. Okay, continue. Matharia... <laughs> Presumably there were some... 
Tiranesti left, right? Yes, because but the rumor was that they all went underground. I wonder if this is like their resistance group. I was gonna or say, something. It seems like guerrilla fighting. So, have we already have we already checked the area for like broken twigs or like ways that we could find a path out of here? You know, like a, a way that they, a way that they might have. Yeah, if we could track. Oh. Them. To follow them. You could try to. Uh, you can make a survival yeah. check to attempt to track uh, the, the elves. I'll guide him. I help Pre- him? Pre- <laughs> I help him with guidance. I well, he spends those 10 minutes now. doing that. Um, Jack, these furred boots are yeah. snug. They feel quite warm. What's the fur? Boots with the fur. <laughs> Go <laughs> uh, while you wear them, what? Add, add a d4. Yes. Yes. While wow. you're wearing them, um, really efficient for that one. Anyone? No, I just said it. Okay. You can have cold resistance. Oh. You also ignore difficult terrain if it is created by ice or snow, and you can tolerate lower temperatures than normal, as low as mm-hmm. 50 degrees below zero, Ooh. without any additional protection. Boots Whoa. of cold, is that what they're called? Boots of the Winterland, which and I might need to make. But yeah. They're a nice window. One of my players just got them. Well, there you go. There you go. The real downside to them, though, is that <coughs> they do require attunement. Nope. So they boots that'll keep you warm. Like, really, really, really ridiculously warm. I like cold, though. That's true, you do. Well, th- so now, now you can, can handle even more. Now you can handle more of it. It's even more of a good thing. Those might already exist to be added. They might not, though. Unclear. Whoa. Um, um, what was your survival roll, Rev? Uh, sixteen total. Uh, although I, I know Mitario was supposed to be helping, so I don't really know. What- I. I was saying I wanted to help him, like give him. Okay, the- Rev, you can roll with advantage. Yeah. Then. So roll it again. Keep the keep the three and just <laughs> roll the twenty again. Yeah. Okay, so it is sixteen. Yes. Mathari attempts to lead you astray. Unfortunately. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! But I'm unfortunately, not Rev. These scouts <laughs> and whoever ambushed them were impossible for you to track away from this site, either where they arrived from or where they exited. Or yeah, I mean, that would make sense if they're, you know, Tyranesti or whatever gorillas. It would make sense that I would not be able to track them. Another question I guess I'd have, and based off that, is can I look at the bodies and gauge the trajectory that the arrows were coming from? Like, were they being shot down at, like, from the trees? Um, I would say literally all over. Yeah. The way that it's described okay. here, they're, like, pin-cushioned like a porcupine. I mean, uh, and, a, and a person... And if a person gets shot, they, like, you know, go, oh, and then they like, spin around or, like, whatever. It's not like they all get shot and they all, like, you know... Like fall I don't down. know, it could have been surrounded. Well, you'd, see, you'd see more arrows like in the shoulders areas. Mm-hmm. You'd see more. No, I like you'd it. see them on the ground, they're sticking straight up. said porcupine. What I would also say I... is the last thing that you would notice would be there's a number of arrows in those porcupine people that seem to have been put in after they were on the ground. I was going to say, it sounds like they punisher them. Uh, yeah, oh, like the double boy. tap, so to speak, where yeah. there was That's... some additional thuds to make sure they were dead. Yeah, this sounds like Punisher stuff. Oh. Okay. Um, well, before we... <laughs> <laughs> before we keep going, I am going to take my, like, cowl out of my bag and kind of put it over my head a bit. Hide some features, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if Terranesti and Shahalesti have distinct figures from... Features from each other, but. She wears a cow. You know what that means? She's a man. She's an undead. <laughs> um, it's <clears> just <throat> a hood. It's like a hood scarf thing. You know, I, wears, yeah, I know. You know, wears cowls. 
Yes, I am Batman. I sorry. I, yes, I am Batman. You're right. <laughs> you haven't said it's it right. It's a very deep voice. I am. I, I am Batman. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> she nailed it. There. Good. That good was job. a good. That was a good Batman impression as Mathara. That was good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Should have heard me a couple days ago. I was very deep. <laughs> uh, very low voice. Cassie still has a real husky voice going these oh. days. Yep. Anything Seems like you've got else? everything we can from them. Yeah, anything else with the bodies? Okay. Don't think so. She barely even chews. Hey Rev, are there any traps around? Like, even traps that they might be setting for animals for food or. <laughs> Not that we've seen any animals. As we've you're talking, animals. the voices around you, like the forest around you, begins to echo back at you in different voices. Uh, like, traps are out. Traps are out. Traps oh, Justin. Oh, I don't like it. Like it's mocking her voice? Not necessarily. Like it picked out a phrase and it just like echoed but it just awkwardly, started. but it's with different voices. Constantly. Uh -uh. Like as we've been walking, it's. Or just now? Just right now. <laughs> I don't know like that. Not that there are traps around. Thanks. You can make an That's investigation weird. check if you'd like to look for traps. Up to yeah, you. I'll take. I'll take a. Well, I'll go as we move on. I'll probably go first with yep. an eye towards making sure there are no traps sure. along the path. Yeah, go ahead and make an investigation check for me as you guys move <laughs> through with Rev in the lead, looking around for traps. Perfect. Man, I wish I could. As you're making your way through the forest a little bit, Rev at the lead, the rest of you looking over his shoulder. Um, and as you move through, following what path you can see, um, you come across a procession <laughs> of swiftly moving figures that seem to be following a path that only they can see. Their features appear elven at a distance that so you cannot say for certain, <laughs> for each and every one of them is transparent. They glow as though touched by the light of the moon at all times. <clears throat> they clutch weapons, but also heavy sacks, many carrying children far too young to travel. They glance around warily even as they run, and more than a few spend as much time looking behind as ahead. If they see you at all, they offer no sign as they rush across your path. Ugh. Are they dressed similarly to the... Taranesti children that we saw earlier? Uh, the Taranesti child that you saw earlier, the body was like tattered cloth at this point. It was not dressed in anything that would be semblance to normal garb. Then I'll ask with Arya, did those look like Taranesti elves? Well, they're still passing by you, so what would anyone like to do? Oh, I understand they were past us. <coughs> Would everyone want to wait while they just ran by? Yes. Yeah. I, I think I we will. Me. I'm not saying anything. i would be respectful of this because I don't know what the heck it is, but I'm definitely taking it in offensively. As they kind of rush past. They don't seem to make notice of you at all, um, but they do, like I said, look warily in all directions, especially backwards as they seem to be fleeing from something. And eventually, they do vanish off into the woods, and things return to what semblance of normality we have within this wood. So they, did they look like Terranesti to me? It is difficult to tell because of their the way that their features are, if that makes sense. Like, with them being transparent but, like, lit from within, it's really hard to right. get a real, real gauge on what they look like. You're not even 100% sure they're Elven, but you're assuming so. Okay. Um, I'll try and convey that to Jack then. I... I can't be certain that the light was too weird. As she's saying this, one of the figures that was trailing behind that you didn't notice before walks up to you guys, looking you straight in the eye, Mitharia, um, staring at you, kind of sadly smiling, shaking their heads. And you feel a brief wave of peace rush over you as it then turns 
and lopes off into the forest once more. Like she just feels that or all of us? I was mostly saying her because it felt like the elf interacted with her specifically. Uh, when you were up that close, Mathara, you can make out these do look like wood elves, so to speak, Terranesi. Right. <clears throat> that's... That's odd. Um, uh, after closer inspection, um, yes, Jack, this, this would have been Terranesi elves. Should we keep going? Yeah, why not press on? I don't think there's anything else to do. I feel like it's... Forest is so laden with their spirits that just sort of pours out the ground almost. No wonder they call it a haunted forest. It really is. <coughs> Everyone seems a little tense. Let me help. I'll pull out my banjo. <laughs> I'm going to try to play a song. Okay. I'm going to roll a foreign strike. Please, Nailed. please tell me. Please tell me it's mine. <laughs> oh, he, he, did, he did well. It's a beautiful song. So frustrated. Fucking 19, but here it is. Here's what it is. It's pretty good, but it's like the first song I ever learned on guitar was Secret Agent Man, so it's like that. It's like maybe like four chords. Simplistic. And I'm doing it okay. Simplistic, but done well. So, <laughs> so ever, it's like Ghost just ran by. It's very tense. I got my banjo and I go. There's a man who leads a life of danger. Everyone he meets, he stays a stranger. You're funny. I remember the rest of the song, but I'll stop. <laughs> it's very inappropriate for the morning, moment, but I'm pretty happy that I'm nailing it. Kind of. I'm not sure if we... Um, Jack, that sounds wonderful. Um, I'm not sure it if... It really does. Um... Maybe the best you've ever done, <laughs> but <laughs> 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 I'm not sure. But I'm not sure if now is. I'm not sure if now is the moment. We might not want to be drawing attention to ourselves while we're traveling through a forest, trying to be moderately. Hey, right, shut up! I'm killing it. <laughs> you, you really are. <laughs> Eventually, I'll put it away. <laughs> oh, you know what I should have rolled, Justin? I should have rolled one of my red dice. One of your bard dice? No, one of my... <coughs> one of my actual terrible dice. Yeah. Ten okay. in the middle. Very average. Still better than I ever rolled. <laughs> okay. Well, as you put the banjo away, uh, with red le le Rev leading the way... Um, <laughs> Rev, go ahead and roll perception check. Actually, everyone, roll perception check for me. Twelve. Twelve. Twenty-five. <coughs> wow. Three. Damn. Sorry, I was looking there. at the ground in front of him. <laughs> I thought I saw a trap. I thought I saw a trap. So I'm like investigating. I'm like going over to some, some trap. Sh Wait, no. like a shrub. There's like a shrub that I'm like looking in. It's just two. It's like right in the middle of the road, and you're like, this doesn't look right. This can't be. Just yeah, just look at. Yeah, this is not really a true road, but you're following a path. Yeah, and oh, it's shot. It's just something. it's just a mundane shrub. <laughs> anyway, what's what's what are you, what's going on, Justin? Where are you going? <laughs> a shrubbery. Uh, as you guys are walking through this area, all of a sudden, 
uh, arrows with no uh. warning begin to rain from the surrounding foliage as they start shooting down towards you. <coughs> I did drag us to a different map, and I would, in fact, like everyone to immediately just go ahead and uh, roll some initiative here. No what? Easy. Yes, please, please do. Please do. You try I don't so want hard. problems. You can't get so, so far. <laughs> Eat. That was the best, Justin. I can't add turns because this <laughs> stupid map oh. is so bad. It's off the top. With every move he makes. They all look no like pressure. female like Robin Hoods. Like I know those are helmets. Odds are he won't live. They look like female Robin, Robin Hoods. Why can't I do that? This is so annoying. Secret Age of Man. Secret Age of Man. Giving you a number. Taking away your name. Alright, I'm gonna have to drag these people down so that I can even add them to the turn list. Dude. Oh yeah, because they're when you open up their menu, it goes up it goes up and off gone. the screen. Yeah, great. Thanks, thanks, roll twenty. So That's what I wanted. Stupid. Jeez. <coughs> all right, there we go. We've got them all open and on there now. Um, it's hard to make out as the arrows come flying towards you, but uh, they do appear to have the telltale blonde hair of um, Shahalesti elves. Of Shahalesti uh, I rolled, I rolled yes. a, Jack rolled a 10, Brim rolled an 8. After I put the no, cowl on, on I... Hmm. Ooh, win rate, 23, huh? Mm -hmm. Not quite good enough. Um, the other thing is, amazingly, or maybe not. Um, no one rolled high enough to avoid the first round of attacks here uh, with their perception check. <laughs> and so there are a lot of arrows that begin flying through the air here. I totally just threw your tokens on here completely at random. Um, so I'm going to say Rev was in the lead. We'll say Bryn, Jack, and Winry on various sides. You know what, we'll do it the other way around so that Winry's on the close side for you guys. With Mathari taking yeah. up the trailing position, that seems very reasonable as a, yep. a method of travel here. Um, but shots do come raining in from the tree line surrounding you uh, as they take, take fire. Uh, so Rev, they will be shooting at you first. Uh, that's a 21 and a 15 <laughs> with the first set. Uh, first hit, second doesn't. It deals 12 points of piercing damage from the darkness. Yes. Um, the next one, a 19 to hit. That, me again? Yeah. 15 misses, yep. Uh, it deals 9 points of piercing damage. Winry, you are next in line here. Uh, 21. Mm -hmm. The other one misses. 11 points piercing. <coughs> Winry again, those both miss. Very dexterous from you. And Mitharia. Uh, ooh. 19 and a natural 20. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they both hit Nin if I can't have my reaction. Yep, you don't have it yet. Uh, so six on the normal one. And then uh, 14, 19 for the critical hit. Ugh, so 35. And Wait. The 25. last one. Oh. The last one has 119 to hit against you, Mitharia. The other one will miss. Yes. And will deal six points piercing damage. Lots of shots come firing through from the darkness. That was their opening salvo. They quickly reload, grabbing fresh arrows, some of them able to fire again a second time even before you guys can react. 
So the second wave comes through Rev. 20 to hit, and then a natural 20 to hit. <coughs> the first one is 10 points piercing. The second one is 12 points piercing damage. Stop Winry it. towards you. you were doing this oh my gosh. Uh, 12 is the highest. Yep. Second one's against you. That one's going to hit. The other one's going to miss. Deals 10 points piercing. And then the last set here, before you guys get to respond to Mitharia, uh, 15. Both miss. Lots of arrows come flying out from the distance, and you guys are able to pick out where they're coming from after a brief moment, uh, as you see a bunch of Shahalesti elves kind of standing up from the fo foliage, the dense undergrowth off the path, and <coughs> just unleashing volley upon volley towards you. Oh, they're on the ground? Yes. Uh oh. <coughs> Winry, you are the fastest of the group to react. Are they all within reach? Yes. But are they down? Like other stomachs? Like down a hill? No, they're like one knee kind of thing, standing or like crouching amongst the undergrowth and firing out from it. Okay. Punch. <coughs> That's a twenty. That's a good start. Yeah, nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, and this is the right one to crit on too. You're gonna roll lots of sixes. There's some right here. Eight, eight. Ooh, wow. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 23. 25, 6, 7, 8, 20, 30. One more six. 36. 36 points of damage. Completely. That's a right That's by far the highest crit ever. Natural one. <laughs> oh, swings and roundabouts, you know. <laughs> so you smash this guy so, or girl, whichever, so effectively with the first punch that your second punch goes where they used to be, but they have been moved. <laughs> you moved uh, too far. <laughs> and unfortunately, it goes away. <coughs> oh, man, yeah. Oh, Mithara, did you roll with advantage? 20. No, 20 I didn't. Be. But it doesn't really okay. matter because yeah. she's already going. So. Good save it. All right, might say next initiative. 11. 11 points of damage. So I was in the bathroom when I... No, I wasn't. I rolled initiative. Very and nice. And then I'm going to assume that they that can't... That one is looking brutalized Jeez. immediately. They do all have bows out, so no. <coughs> they have no way of um, attacking you, especially at range, with an opportunity attack. She retreats back to... Steps on Rev. Top of Rev. <laughs> I'm seeing there. Yeah, that's Star what lots of, of people say. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, still, I was even like bent over checking out this shrub, so. Yeah. Was <laughs> it was a trap. It was a trap. It was a trap. <laughs> uh, yeah. it is you next. Uh, eat this. Uh, instinctually draw my swords, but then I'm seeing that they're Shahalesti. And like too late, stop Winry. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try and make, make an effort to like uh, just wait them to stop. I'm gonna like take off my cowl and say, "Wait, wait, we're not your enemies, but we're not here to fight. It's Shahalesti among us. Don't attack us." And try and persuade uh, them to shoot us. Sure, make a persuasion check. Uh, so while she's rolling, Rev is like looking for traps and he finds this trace of something like a broken twig and he lifts it up and he's like, guys, I think it's up. <laughs> <laughs> Arrows come flying out of every direction. Uh, it's only a uh, 14. You hear conversation a little bit in the distance in a language that you would understand, but not everyone would understand. And what you can make out are the words um, traitor. Cool. Yikes. That's not nice. You hear like, it's her, the traitor. Eee. 
Oh, she froze. Oh, she froze. Oh, it's no. so. Oh, no. It's so <laughs> oh, she unfroze. Oh, Don't hurt. We were so. I haven't done anything over here. I'm just fluttering. That's all. Well, we want to screenshot it. You look hilarious. Yeah. It took us a <laughs> long time to. Um, that was funny. Um, <laughs> that's not. Low blow, bro. Very nice. Um, I guess I'll retort in. I was gonna say in British. <laughs> yes, in British. <laughs> oh my God, no! <laughs> in in Elvish. I'm not your enemy. We're on your side. Please don't fight. Please don't attack us. And well. I will literally waste my turn just protesting, but I do have my swords out at least. Oh, as I said, so... Oi! There's an ear! Oh, it, May! I hope we don't have any British fans. <laughs> <laughs> if we do, that's how you guys sound, right? <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. That's it. Uh, uh, now we have one last British fan. <laughs> Sir Skeleton is like, fuck these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I hated Dang it. Dang it! <laughs> uh, in response, Mithar, you're kind of holding up placating hands to some extent. Dang. Two arrows it's come so flying weird. towards your face. Uh, 18 and a 29 to hit. Uh. Oh, do it again. <laughs> Ta da! This is too funny. Got him. Magic trick. Ew. What's wrong with you? What? You say that all the time. I will I will do defensive duelists for the 18. Can you if it's not a melee attack? Oh <coughs> no, I can't. Huh. So both hit. The first one deals nine points of piercing damage. Oh, oh. the second one deals six. Okay. Fun. The other two shots come firing in as well. Uh, they will aim at Winry now because she's partially blocking Rev with her body. Uh, those are bad. 16 is the higher. No. So no worries about those two arrows as they come flying through. <coughs> Everyone kind of dancing to the side as they shoot past the group. Jack, it's you. So, um,. I don't think I've been super quiet on our adventures about my distaste for Shah, or at least mistrust of Shahalasti and their intentions. So seeing Matharia kind of like try to placate them, this is just like everything that Jack has been like learning. She's trying to use words and it's not, they have no interest in it. So I'm gonna step forward. Uh, I'm actually gonna run for it. I would have heard a bit about it. Her, uh, it's her, the traitor, or whatever, as well, because they said that in Elvish. Yep. So. Yeah, and I, I speak Elvish. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I am going to. <laughs> Great. That's snarky. I don't. I don't know. I'm just pissed over here. You speak Elvish? Elvish? No. Oh, okay. No, but I have fine whatever. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out how to describe this without it sounding anime. I don't want it to sound anime. Let's hear it. Almost no way. Let's go. I'm gonna anime. run up and I'm gonna kind of like wind up my sword. I'm gonna wind up parallax, and then I'll do some somatic moves, and then I think I just like snap a finger, and all of you guys suddenly see me and five of these elves get all blurry. But uh, what we can see is Jack very quickly runs to Oop. that one, that one, that one, that it's one. It's to do something stupid like Jack does. Oh, I don't know if you like that. Did that get him all? Three. Yep. And I attack each of them. I'm doing Steel Wind Strike. Oh, fun. Whoa. Are you so a, with, the fancy wizard with the slicey sword thing that I did in the one shot? No. Oh, no. Okay. Consider it. <laughs> so I'm doing attacks against them. Fancy um, wizard. Melee attacks. That's 21. We'll go left to right. 21 does hit. Okay. 
21. 20. Does hit. Natural, natural 20. 20. Nice. Wow, that so was, one's a natural 20. That was the fourth that was guy. The fourth. Yeah. Yeah. The last one. Uh, 18. Uh, 18 does hit also. So nice, baby. Hit. So, four. Uh, those aren't D10s. These are D10s. I don't want to die, so I don't need my dice. I didn't realize it was a 5th level spell. 6 d 10 force damage. So that's 10, uh, 14, 17, 19, 23, 30 damage to 4 of them. 30 force and 60 to the extra one. And 60 to the extra one. Well, the Boy, good news is... is Two of them, the one that Winter punched and the one that you critically hit, uh, two of them drop to the ground dead. And I'm going to end right next to that one. And you guys, it's almost like in this area, like you almost don't see the, if there's like leaves falling, they freeze in place as everything gets really blurry and then <laughs> things catch back up. There's not leave. Oh, is that super? That was anime too. No, it was it? very anime. It really was. <laughs> Shit, I don't even watch anime. Still Do the looks bodies cool, slice in it half cool. and then like it looks like Fall Jack did afterwards. nothing at the end and no. then the body slides off. No. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I land next to the dead one, finishing a strike, and uh, they're not even standing anymore. So from what you guys can see, it gets blurry, and then the two of them are just on the ground, and the other two are, have bad wounds. So what you're telling me is Jack reaches. No, to the that's side. not what I'm telling you. <laughs> Unsheath the Son sword. Of a bitch. You guys hear the click. It blurs, and then Jack is at the other side. You hear the click of the sword being put away, and two people are dead. No, I don't have a sheet. <laughs> you dickhead. I mean, are you just moving really fast? Well, in the way that the spell is described, um, I essentially turn into wind and attack, but the way that I'm describing it is I'm a fucking... Um, I'm a time your chrono answer. I slow down time around them to Boom. do the attacks. I just um, um, speed stir them. Um, yeah. yeah. So you're so you're real blurry, but no one else yeah. is. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <coughs> yeah, Jack just went super blurry for a moment. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so I would just be like, Zzz! and yeah. then, choo, 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 choo. and then, like uh. Slows Sparrow back down again, <laughs> next to the guy who then falls over yeah. dead. And I hate you, Justin, because I pictured starting it, and then as I finish, I finish the slice, and it's like, oh, <laughs> you dickhead. You're welcome. It's not for anime. Making it anime, which is Why is it It's just fuck it. anime. <laughs> well, there goes the rest of our losing viewers <laughs> left <laughs> <in> <laughs> If there's any British anime fans sticking around, we love you. Well, now we can't even get sponsorships from like Crunchyroll. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! And they're yeah, you're right. They're right. Anyway, Shut your mouth. <laughs> so it's the first time that I've been able to unleash on Shaw Lusty, and I feel like yeah, they're pretty good. Two dead, three thirty damage as in addition. That was once again. What would that be? 120, 180 damage. Yeah. on that attack, in case anyone's keeping track at home. Uh, and that's my turn. Perfect. Like the most damage you've done in these two In the whole game. In the whole game, <laughs> in these two encounters. Totally. Well, Bryn, it's you next. Um, I'm just going to bless <coughs> Rev, Matharia, and Winter. First level bless. Simple Which but does. effective. Yep. yep. Does It's important. D4 bonus for each of you guys on your attack rolls. Wow, none of us gave Rev enough shit. Dicks for initiative, bro? You're I did. Dex based, man. What are you doing? <laughs> he won that shit. I don't even. Roll a one. There's um, an inspect in the bush, man. Leave <laughs> <laughs> him alone. Wait, but you roll a one. Could you re roll it? No. <coughs> not, um, not initiative rolls. Um, Honestly, don't know. What, no, it, what, I, I double check. What do you roll on a on an attack roll or ability check? <laughs> yeah, yeah, attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. Initiative is an ability check. Is it Justin? It's a dexterity it ability check. Yep. Oh. Oh. 
You know what? For well, funsies. Whatever. Um, critical. I rolled a critical. I rolled one again. You're all, <laughs> this count as two ones. Oh. I'll uh, cast spiritual weapon Thanks. at second level by the one in the middle. Damn it, Justin. Gonna whack him with my mace. Go for it. Plus I'm gonna again. try to get the mace out. Oh, 23. That'll definitely hit. 1d8. Oh, nice. 13 damage. Max damage. I bopped him real good right in the noggin. You bop him real good. Him. Uh, blood continuing to flow after Jack's slashing attacks. The mace flies <laughs> in his or their state of general confusion, smashing into the wounds that were already there. Okay, hashtag bless. Hashtag bless for get? those who. Uh, uh, everybody but you. Okay. Hey, Rev. Rev, it's you next. You finally notice that there's a fight going on around you. <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> I also have several uh, arrows sticking new, out of me. Yeah, new sprouting fixtures. Yeah, blood and etc. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this way. This this map is not like true, right? In the sense that there's there's objects for me to hide in. We're not just sure. In an open, uh, like a, because this looks like an open sort of dirt area. area. Almost <laughs> all of the maps for this particular adventure are incredibly simplistic. There's only a couple that are not. Yeah, I mean, uh, just, so is, yes. is there cover for me to find? We're in a forest, you're hiding yep. in a tree. Yeah. Good. In fact, uh, the, the dense undergrowth is able to be hidden in just in general. All right, so I'm going to duck out of the way, move back a little bit, uh, draw my crossbow, and I'm going to use bonus action to hide. So, okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold an action. I'm going to hold an action for when... Man, Winry's been not getting in people's faces lately. So if Mitharia gets toe-to-toe -to -toe with Winry... successfully... You would get advantage on your shot. Yeah. If I hide successfully. Yeah, but I want to hold an action so that uh, I can fire when one of the... Uh, when Mitharia gets in the face of one of these. But sure. to get sneak attack, right? If you yeah. have advantage, you have sneak attack. Yep. So just roll a really high stealth check for us. See what your hide is. Roll your stealth. So, uh, but... I can hide first and then shoot. I mean, that, that doesn't sound mm -hmm. quite right. All right, well, all right. Let's... Nineteen. <laughs> oh, oh, it was that kind of a reaction. Nineteen uh, will be enough to give you advantage on your attack. Wow. So okay, so I can just uh, I can just attack then. All right, that sounds yeah, great. Yeah, advantage yeah. and a D four. As long oh, as it's yeah. at range. This doesn't really work if you're going to then run in and melee them afterwards, because yeah. well, then you, you reveal... Out, if you yourself. move out of cover, then you've lost your... Right. Then you reveal yourself. Um, but for a range thing, yes, you can try to hide in the undergrowth. But then I, but then I, reveal, my, but then I reveal myself with the, the arrow shot, right? But not yes. like right after yeah. the arrow shot, yes. when everyone knows where no, you are. But but I, I, so here's the thing. I want to stay hidden for the next round. Okay. I don't want. I, I would rather hold my action until uh, either Mitharia or. Well, I guess I can just hold my action until. Is that no? That doesn't work though for you. Like I can't just not shoot until they go. If you want to hold your action until they take their turn, yeah, fine with that. And then I would be able That's to fine. go. Okay, yeah. Then I, I want to hold it because I I want to use. <laughs> I'm using the hide action essentially as a way not to get shot. Oh, and if, yeah, and if I reveal myself right after doing that, then who knows? Maybe I'll that get. That makes like, a lot of sense. Yeah. Good thinking. Yep. That makes sense. Okay, so Rev tries to find some kind of <laughs> folds in the ground, so to speak, uh, some undergrowth, hiding the best of his ability. Seems to have broken line of sight as they are dealing with more imminent threats in the meantime. 
and I'm in Anna Wait. And then it is their turn. The two in the middle here <coughs> next. Uh, they both just got slashed like crazy by Jack. Uh, and so the one that's nearly adjacent to you, at least, is going to immediately turn to you and try to plug you with two arrows. Bring it. Uh, that is a 20 and a 26. <coughs> oh, damn. Even uh, Shield can't help me there. Okay. Uh, seven piercing damage with the first and 10 with the second. 17. <coughs> Thud, thud, two arrows land. The next guy would love to oh, shoot at Jack. I just healed both of those. That's okay. fine. So 17 damage. Yep. And then 17 damage. The next one would love to attack Jack. Can't really do so from their current position and is instead going to plug two more arrows at the key. Oh, yeah. 18 and 20 to hit. Uh huh. Nine piercing and 12 piercing. Jack, you hear pointing towards you. Uh, uh, or you hear pointing towards you. Uh, you see pointing towards you and you hear words that accompany it that are... Um, uh, there's surprise, basically. There's, there's words of, of shock at what just happened, uh, as though they were not expecting what just occurred to them. Um, they say, I'm slashing the shit out. Bring him! Get him! Bring him down! Winry? <coughs> is you with your injured finger next. What did you do to yourself? Playing around with a hair tie. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll go over here. Um, Punch the one next to Jack. Uh huh. While I'm walking over, my mouth is like. I'm just like staring at Jack in awe. Of his, Aww. Of his speed. <laughs> in awe. Aww. That was a George of the Jungle. You remember that joke? 12 was 9. <laughs> 21 hits. Is that a nine or a six? A W E. Looks like a six. What? Good twenty. What about this? What is a six? Six plus twelve. Twelve still hits, but I just wanted to make note that it's a six, not a nine. Twelve plus a uh, seven. <coughs> Twenty-one. Nineteen. Oh, plus twelve plus seven. Oh. oh. Uh, Nineteen six, points of damage seven. is enough to knock down the, this this remaining elf here who had just been nice. assaulted. Uh, you can move that to the next person that you would like to. Would you like to attack the next closest one to Jack or the one on the other side? The ones on the other side. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, she's singing a song. Oh, moved out very far. Move. I'm rushing to the one on the other side of Jack at that point. I will take that 20 for you that you had rolled for the next attack roll already. Nice. As she then crits this next <coughs> elf. It's not the first thing that I hit. Correct, so no d6s on this one. Oof. 17. No, that's a crit, so it's 27. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Hey, girl. <laughs> That's a big punch. What happened to Winry? 15. She got impressed with Jack. Uh, the 15, Swing. unfortunately, is not it. Um, but this mm. elf is left battered, bruised, and cut, and bleeding significantly. Mm. Mm. Fuck him up. Mm. Quickly and aggressively. I probably moved too much, but I don't know where That's it fine. was. Tiny map, don't care. <coughs> Move back next to Jack, kind of protectively afterwards. And Natharia, it's you. Are there any that seem to be like the one giving the orders or in charge? The two on the outside seem the most composed, I would say. 
Okay. Uh, but beyond that, no solitary person who seems like a captain or anything like that. All right. Um, moving up to this one, and uh, I guess I'll start attacking. Um, I'm gonna use. Uh, I think I'm gonna use my bonus action to. Oh, light swords. Sounds good. Fire sword, good sword. Fire sword, good sword. Fire sword. Yeah, so they actually, they would actually hear me say the, um, the, the words. They would understand it, too. it yeah. They would understand what I'm saying. Anyways. Oh, wait, then I would have understood this whole time what you're saying when you're doing it. I think she's... Yeah. I haven't never told you, no. <laughs> because, like, the first couple times you weren't in earshot, and then I forgot to, like, be like, oh, hey, you you heard her. You probably heard her say it during this oh. time. So. Well, I'm in earshot now. <laughs> I feel like we okay, mentioned Okay, I'll, I'll text point. you later, and I'll tell you what it says. That's really exciting. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, go ahead and make the text. Uh, first one is yeah, a 29 to hit. Excited. Without All right, we're ending the session. Uh, <laughs> and Jackson. Uh, 26 does it. An arrow comes out of nowhere. A bear. <laughs> it mauls All Jack right. and drags him off um, into the forest, never to be seen for him again. <laughs> um, that's, that's eight fire and uh, eight slashing. 16 points of damage. It is still up, but looks very rough. Rev, weren't you holding your turn? Uh, yeah, I was kind of waiting for him to say something at some point. No, I'm, I'm not going to attack yet. I thought you were waiting for Mathari or Winry to be close to someone. No, I, I, I was told that I could wait until after their turns to go. Oh. Uh, You're just waiting until she's done. Do it all the the time. 22 to hit. <coughs> uh, 22 does it. Jack looks disappointed. No, that she unfroze. Oh. No, stop it. Kathy's dice tower over here. Something frozen. No. <laughs> that Three was fire. Such a good one. <laughs> Three fire and it's dead. Um... Mithari, it is. It is dead. It's you can dead. roll damage oh. if you'd like to. Kill it. Stop. It is dead. <laughs> okay. Like, don't think I can get any closer. <laughs> Other one. Um, I just like throw my sword at her or something. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that allow it, life, but uh, the sword would go out as soon as it leaves your hand. Oh, do it again. Dang it. Stop it. Stop. I was gonna hit her with the flat of the sword, but she's like, ow! <laughs> throw it to try and like impale it. Yeah. If I could. Sure, go for it. Make uh. Um... Like, so you like swipe, swipe, and then pff, throw the sword in. It's only like 15 feet, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, you can make a ranged attack, so to speak. Uh, just do a dexterity attack without your proficiency bonus. So okay. take take your normal attack, subtract out your proficiency, and then make the roll like normal. Okay. Easy. Uh... Basically, just a uh, plus five to the attack then. Instead of like plus nine or something like that, yeah. You mean plus eleven? <laughs> oh jeez. <clears throat> I don't know if you want to get passive uh, aggressive. It's DM. only a, it's only a fifteen to hit. <laughs> okay, the sword thrown out of her hand. Uh, <coughs> Impales into a tree next to the shawl of the scout and just like quivers in the tree. Unfortunately, it does not quite strike. Uh, and as it does so, and as it does so, it does unlight that particular sword. The one that's still in your hand is still lit, though. Yeah, she's just she's just pissed at this point. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That's her. That's her turn. The elf can tell. The elf can tell that uh, uh, he or she is next. Just come right. For it. Well, that elf next uh, will take two attacks towards you. One of which crits. Good. One of which misses. Wow. Dude, get use a different die. Six, oh. twelve, sixteen points of piercing damage. <laughs> Dang. Oh, sorry. Wait. Seventeen points of piercing damage. My bad. Um, 
And then this elf that you threw the sword at begins to try to run. I'm not gonna try to model this on the map here, um, but that elf is taking <laughs> off through the undergrowth as fast as it can, seeing its its friends there. I'll shoot her. I'll shoot her. I'll shoot her. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. You can't let her get away. Awesome. You definitely have advantage. Uh, let's fish for it. Get it. All right, 25 to hit. You rolled two different weapons there. One I know both. they're both they're both plus eleven though. So <laughs> I know. That. I know. Uh, yeah, twenty five definitely does hit though. All right, thirty one damage. Thirty one <laughs> points of damage as it sinks into the back of the elf. It does keep running to the best of its ability, uh, but it does look hobbled by it. The one on the other side is going to take two shots at Jack. Those are bad. Uh, fourteen is the highest. Oh, sweet. Oh, I... sorry. 16 is the highest. Oh, shit. 14 and a 16. Oh, this was an easy choice when I was like, <coughs> Grabbing the damage die. Um, I'll do it. I'll shield it. Okay. As the arrow comes flying at me, uh, lift up, parallax, and just a kind of uh, wall of energy blocks both the shots. That one also begins to kind of turn tail and run, seeing four of their numbers down at this point. And they're running in opposite directions. But Jack, it is your turn. They are still within 40 feet or so of you. Well, I need to be within 120 feet. Well, you know, I'm going to shoot. Time. I'm going to shoot a static bolt at him. I'm going to aim a uh, parallax at him, and a <laughs> crack of lightning fires off at him. Natural one. No. Unfortunate occurrence. Uh, the static electricity grounds itself <laughs> immediately upon leaving. <laughs> <the sword. laughs> they come back and guess me. <laughs> yeah, thankfully I don't use fumble rules or anything. Uh, but yeah, this this shot, unfortunately, just too much emotion, too much anger behind it, unable to find the, the yeah, correct. I think that's fair. Um, I'm going to run after him. Okay. He's like 30 feet of movement to go after him. Trying to keep up as much as you can as he's moving away? Yeah. Bryn? I'm gonna, at the other side, not the way that Jack's going, I'm gonna shoot a sacred flame at him, dex 19. <coughs> I'm at 3d8. I uh, don't have to worry about it. 22. You do. <laughs> <laughs> If it's 20 DA, you ain't doing shit. Sorry. Well, Bye, Mitharia. Done. Rev. Uh, I'm going to shoot this one again. Probably it is not be. looking at you, so <laughs> I'm going to give you advantage on it because they are not trying to defend themselves. They're just running. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. 23 hit. I just thought about it afterwards. I mean, Three does hit. Twenty-eight damage. <laughs> Twenty-nine. Well, with both of them in single digits at this point, uh, if you wanted to, it is fairly easy for you guys to keep them within sights and mop them up at range, dropping these elves as you so choose. Yeah, could I totally we, like, shoot. Could we like? Could we like keep one? Like, I won't say alive, but you know. Well, as they're both in single digits, you can shout out and try to get people to listen to you if you'd like to, but it is their decision ultimately. If we're alive for questioning! This is mainly Jack and Rev's decision making. I'm killing mine. Oh, yeah, I, I killed it. I, mean, I got it with an arrow. <laughs> 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 With an arrow through the back of the neck and a lightning, lightning bolt, bolt through the back of the other one, there are four, now six, freshly killed Shahalesi corpses in the neighboring vicinity that look eerily reminiscent to the 12 that you saw previously. Hmm. Similar garbs, similar oh, okay. looking, uh, different methods of death perhaps, but additional dead Shahalesi elves now surround you. I wonder if they're like stuck in the forest somehow, kind of like with the Nectar. Well, these are current so. 
outfits, so to speak. I know we talked about this previously with um, Daishan. Daishan's uniform. That his, his outfit oh, yeah, was old aged and I think, um, these I are think, current. I think they're aware of current events. They know that we uh, are their enemies. They knew who I was. And they knew, they knew who that Daria was. was a traitor, yeah. So, but you were there before, too. As a traitor uh, to Shana Lesti, though? I no, was. Uh, I hate that phrase. I'm gonna look think... Jack after like he comes back from killing an out like that last elf, and I'm just gonna look to him and say, you know, this makes you a traitor now too. Uh I imagine there's still like smoke coming off of parallax. <laughs> no, just give me like a okay. hey, what they called me. She's gonna go over and just yank her sword out of the tree. You know, there are, um, there are worse countries to be, uh, called a traitor by. I, As you I'm not sure have... that. <laughs> I wouldn't As quite you are having that that discussion, uh, a fox the size of a wolf darts out from the underbrush and stops about two dozen feet away from you, its head tilted to one side as though listening to you. It might not have seemed so odd if this weren't the first normal creature that you'd seen in this entire blasted forest. <laughs> and if the fox weren't so clearly looking directly at each of you as though examining you. Is it the one that was in the vision? With the wood elf and the obelisks? It looks like a fox. <laughs> Similar <laughs> to that, so, yes. So, yes. Uh, Bran, maybe you should... Bran, maybe you should talk to it. You As it watches you I, for I a few moments, you seeing you guys <laughs> kind of conversing amongst yourselves, talking to each other, a woman steps out of the forest. The same woman from your visions. Oh, fuck, I have to do this again. This will be the second session in a row. Oh, alone, vision? I forget about this vision. Um, as soon as we see the fox, we think of a previous, previous well, vision. Well, uh, yeah, I was going to say. This <laughs> and as, and as, her, as she steps out and you recognize you, um, you you see briefly in your mind's eye the vision that should have happened at the end of the last time through the temple that I completely forgot about because I put it in a different part of my notes and then forgot about it. Um, and for a brief moment, you see Emperor Coltung upon his throne looking down at what must be a younger Leska. In fact, this Leska looks very similar to the one that you saw in the very first vision amongst this temple. Uh, with Rayland running away from the dragon at the start. Her face still hidden behind a mask, but she's prostrated before the Regessian ruler. My emperor, she says, my quest is now complete. This last lost secret finally is ours. Immortality, my lord. The Aquiline Heart. As Vision returns for you, and you look out, this woman has just stepped out as though appearing from nowhere. Branches not swaying as she's moving, and her footsteps making no sound upon the rough ground. Clad in leathers, the color of tree bark, this elf woman's eyes are a piercing gold. Her hair, the red brown of a fox's fur, and cut short except for one long braid that falls along the left side of her face, almost down to her waist. She warily holds a battered sickle in one hand, and has other sickles, a bow, and various other weapons about her body. In Elvish, she speaks out to you both. Says, well, clearly you're no friend of the Shahalesti, her voice slightly rough, but I must know if you are a friend to us. I'm called Fane. Who are you? F-A-I-N. F-A-Y-N-E. Of course. And <laughs> with her speaking out towards you, we are going to call things a wrap for tonight's session at that point.